Welcome back to the shop. It is Monday, the 5th of September, 2017. Hi, everybody. Mmm, it's pretty good tea. This is going to be an excitement filled video. As we get into it, I'll let you know why it's been a really great, productive week here at Two Dogs Woodworking and Wood. Uh, so who was here this weekend? Kind of, it was a busy weekend. Uncle Mikey was here, right? Uh, yep. We had Jay here. He wasn't able to bring Tangy. Um, on uh, Sunday, we had Michael and Emily here in and out over the weekend. Uh, uh, Daniel Kempster and the Butterbean were all here. I think that was pretty much it. Even Michaela wasn't here a whole lot uh, this weekend. She had a lot to do. And Michaela, good luck with that audition you did on Sunday. Oh, that's some good sweet tea. Good sweet tea. Kind of getting down to the end of summer, uh, but a little bit warmer today than it's been the last couple of days. So this week in the shop, huge, huge, big, exciting week. Uh, gosh, I, I can't hardly contain my excitement. Uh, we bought the uh, trailer from Ben. Just got it. Went over and got it this evening. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate the help. So now we've got a utility trailer. Uh, Mike, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's 7 by 16 uh, double axle. We do need a tire on it. Got to fix the uh, jack stand. Uh, but other than that, we are ready to pick up logs. Uncle Mikey's going to be getting us a tire, I think, tomorrow. Daniel dropped that uh, um, bad tire rim off to him. So excited as can be, that means we can pick up the pecan log sitting over in this county. We can get the cedar log that's sitting over here that Donna got from us in our county, and we can go over the next county over and pick up this huge oak tree that our friend Wayne has got for us. So we're going to be rolling in oak and pecan. And because I, I think it's two trees we got over there, we got to go pick pecan trees, isn't it? I think it's two. Yeah, two, two pecan trees. Or if not, the limbs are big enough uh, yeah. because the pecan tree yeah. was so large. Yeah, this, I seen the tree, the one tree before it got cut down. It's huge, huge tree. So we're excited about that. Look for some real good, uh, interesting projects and some cutting videos. We're going to be filming some stuff of us milling that. That's going to be some good videos. Uh, along the lines of what we got done this week in the shop, we did get the planer fixed. Got new blades in. Holy cow, is it working better now? Woo! really working it is good awesome now. working great we found out the problem with the joiner we did get a couple other little things fixed but we're missing something called the gib it fell out because the set screws got loose mom and i both remember picking it up and looking at it and saying hmm i wonder what this goes to unfortunately don't remember where we set it so we're gonna have to order a new one but we do know what's going on with that uh, we got the red oak in the kiln got it dried down to six to eight percent it's acclimating we're going to check it probably tomorrow night and see if we can't get it ready to go and start doing some projects we'll talk more about that in just a minute so let's move on a little bit there's some good tea all right so what projects do we get finished this week in the shop we got the beer signs completed that mama worked so hard on we had one sitting up here in the last video. If you don't remember, pull it up, look at that. Mama picked up uh, some signs at a uh, auction. Man, she did some work. Uh, she took them from kind of ragtag looking to uh, functional and beautiful signs. We're looking forward to getting those up at the market. Uh, we finished and sold one of our uh, um, scarecrows that we put out for uh, uh, Halloween, for Halloween, fall and Halloween. Got it completed, took it to the market, Boom, went almost immediately, so uh, I think those will do well. Uh, we created a tray set, and I'm going to show you this. Now, I've been telling you we built these rustic trays that Michael and I had uh, worked on in the past, but look at this. This is a tray set that, and if you, can you, can you kind of get that, see that on the camera? Then, uh, can you see that on the camera? No, up. I can't bring it up more, so bring the camera down. Take an area you go. Look at that. So Isn't as it you gorgeous? can see, we got the big tray. We got the little tray to hold napkins on the inside. We got the two mason jars to hold uh, silverware and two wine glasses. That makes it perfect. Uh, the wine glasses really add to it. So we're super excited about this. We think that little project is going to go over super, super well. Excellent project. Looks really, really good. People are interested in it. I've got somebody who wants to come up and learn woodworking. She's going to come up. She wants to build one of those, and that may be her woodworking project that we teach her on. So we're excited about those. All right. Hmm. Let me get rid of that ice so we're not talking with ice in our mouth here. Shows and markets. Let's talk a little bit about what's coming up. Now, Augusta Market was not a great trip as far as selling stuff this week. Uh, but we had a good time. I think we oh, had yeah, a lot of people. We had a great time. time. Uh, let's see. Daniel was there with Butterbean. 
uh, Jay and Tangie showed up, and then Michael and Emily were there. Along uh, with Baxter. So, yeah, so along with Baxter. So everybody showed up. We had a great time. Again, we didn't make a lot of sales. We sold a couple of boards. I got a guy who was going to make a, a, a cedar sofa table, so he bought two cedar boards from me. We sold the Scarecrow uh, at the Augusta Market. We sold one or two other small things. Nothing huge, but we did come up with some builds, and we're going to talk more about those later. Now, let's talk about uh, the uh, shows coming up. We have already committed to, paid for, and got a uh, confirmation that we will be at Union Point the 23rd of September. 2017. I'll be there. Mom may not be able to make it. Michael's not going to be able to make it. Emily's not going to be making it. So it looks like I'm going to be doing that one by myself. Super excited. It'll be interesting to uh, unload everything and get it all set up by myself. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but we're going to figure that out. We did pay for the uh, mule days, but we do not ha have confirmation back. I don't think it's going to be a problem. They're really pleased with us and our, our, uh, our projects last year, so I think we'll be back in there. Big news, bigger news, biggest news, absolutely biggest news of today, uh, of this whole week. I called and spoke to the folks up at the Augusta, excuse me, Atlanta Market. Uh, they seemed really, really positive about us, excited to have us there. We'll be in spot number 23 out in the courtyard, a.k.a. sitting in the grass. They did not have any more uh, 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 things up underneath the uh, veranda, as they call it, which we call it here the porch. Uh, but they didn't have that. But we do have us a 12 by 20 spot sitting in the grass, which is where we sell our stuff the best. So we're looking forward to that. That's going to be the third weekend of September. It's going to be a three-day event, the 16th, uh, excuse me, 15th, 16th, and the 17th. We're looking really, really forward to that. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm about to bust on that. So that's the big, big, big news uh, of this week. Alrighty, mm, that is some good, good sweet tea. So upcoming projects coming up. We're still working on the 21 by 21 by 21 inch tables. Remember I told you we had four of them. We decided that we are not going to do two for the uh, uh, auction slash benefit. We're only going to do one for that, leaving us three trays to do. We're going to take that beautiful set that we just showed you there. That's going to the benefit, so we'll have different items in there. I think our plans now are 21, 21, 21 inch table. That set that you just seen, a cedar tray, and then a couple of the crosses that Mama's built. So I think that's our plans for that. Uh, but we should complete one of those tables. Matter of fact, I got the legs. We're going to mill them up as soon as we're done here. We'll get the legs and the skirts milled up for the three tables we're going to build, and we'll have those done. Uh, Augusta Market build. Now, we picked up three builds from the Augusta Market this past weekend. We've got a uh, um, what I'm calling a wine crate top coffee table. It's one of our coffee table, or excuse me, one of our wine crates that y'all have seen before in the past with the upholstered top that a guy once built to the size of a coffee table about 40 inches long, 18 inches tall, and about 20 inches wide with a hard top, live edge, both sides, lift on, lift off top. He does not want hinges on it. It's going to be a beauty. It's going to look great. We've got the red oak sitting out there right now, so we're ready to rock and roll on that. We've got that watch box that we talked about. We'll get more into that later. It's going to be an interesting, exciting build. I'm looking forward to that. And we got to build one of our king-size waterer dog feeder box things. What do we call those things? Do we have a name for it? That's dog, about it. It's, yeah, it's a, a dog, dog water dog. feeder container. Box. Yeah, we got to build one of those for one of the ladies who uh, ladies up there who does her own pottery. So we got to make the all we got to do is make the boxes uh, box for her. Looking forward to doing that. We got to finish the still and uh, wood sign that I'm building. That I can't tell you anything more about, but this has something to do with it right there. Uh, we got to finish that up. We've got to build some shelves for a friend at work that uh, we'll talk more about that later. And then all these door projects that we've had out of these antique doors got to be finished up. That's my shelving system up here that I've got sitting here. Jay's corner shelf sitting out in Michael and I's shed we built. Along with my hall tree that is actually finished. But we're going to put that thing on a dot because I'm too old and so is Mama to tote that thing around. So we got to work on that. And that's what's coming up this week in the shop. All right. The new segment, what to do with this. We're going to put that on hold for a while now. We've just got too many builds coming up. We've got show after show after show after show back to back. We've got uh, nothing this weekend. Then we've got um, Atlanta the weekend after that. Then we come back and we've got, uh, I think, a week off. And then we do Augusta Market and Union. We've got too much to do. We've just got tons of stuff to do. I think it's, actually, I think it's Atlanta, Union Point, week off, Augusta Market, Mule Days. 
lot and to do. Somebody offered yeah. us two more places to go this weekend. So we got we got too much to do. We're getting famous. We need help. Send us help. Help. We need help. Uh, so we're super, super excited about all that. So I think that's it for tonight. Uh, we're not going to do that new segment build, uh, uh, like I said, right now. We're going to hold off on that. I like the Honda key rack idea, and I, I like the uh, uh, thing for the wine rack we use in the weather vane. So let me wet the whistle down here a little bit. As always, I'd like to say thank you for watching the video. And remember, we'd love to see you back in the shop.